Somebody tell you, Lord, you're awesome. Look at the person sitting beside you say, Lord, you're awesome. Yeah. I love this song, y'all. You y'all gonna help me today? Stay to your feet. So okay. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are awesome. Can y'all hear me say that? Say, Lord.
in this atmosphere, his spirit, his concern about each and every one of you guys today. Listen, I, I adore you guys today. I lift you guys up right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you all for coming. And when I see all you guys in here today, I was excited to see so many people in the house of the Lord. Because there's so many things that's going on in the world. And everybody used to be but the fact that some of you have a mind to come to be in the house of the Lord that speaks a lot about your character. And it lets me know that you're in a household that loves God and that knows God. And anybody that's in your house that they push you to come to church, they love God and they love God. And you should be grateful for that. Hallelujah. You should be grateful for that. But I heard the Lord, I was going to last last night. And the Lord told me that this is the generation yeah. of Demo that shall give thanks to the Lord. This is the generation that's going to have a This is the generation. You are the generation. Are the generation. Yeah, yeah. Listen, those that know God, they first start who you are. You, you can't expect the world to move you, but God is stepping up for you. Yeah. That's what He created us for. He created us to get things started. change the world. We're here to minister to the people, the lost, the hurt. But I hear the Lord say, yes, some of you, I know you're hurt. I know your heart's been broken. I know you've been rejected. I know some of you are fearful. But God said, I died for all of that stuff. He said, I want to make you whole. I want to purify your hearts. I want you to have clean hands. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to have clean hands. I want to be purified. So I speak to every leader. Every leader. And I pray.
But I don't even have the I don't have the motivation to do it. And she said, You need to fast. And the whole time I was I was prophesying to her and I told her that you're gonna begin to fast and the Lord gonna tell you to fast, you're gonna fast, not knowing that the Lord was telling me to fast. Yeah. What I was telling her was for me. Yeah. You know? And so she told me to fast, and I was like, I ain't doing no fast. I ain't got time to be eating no fruits and vegetables and stuff. I ain't got time for that stuff right now. I just ain't got time for that. But then I began to go home, and I, I'm telling you now, this is a true story. I was at work, and, and before I know I just didn't have the desire to eat the meat. I didn't have it. And then I had this, I don't know what they call it, but like Kool-Aid package you put in the water. And stuff, and I don't you know, sometimes I have all the words I have that work, and I put that in there. But it taste, it didn't taste right. I didn't, I didn't desire that no more. And before you know it, I just started eating vegetables and fruit, and I started drinking water. And so we went to Walmart, we bought some stuff, a lot of stuff. And you know, I thank God for her because she'll cook some of the stuff in the house for me. You know, say, so this, Hallelujah. You always need someone that's going to uplift you and encourage you. Yeah. It's important yeah. to have someone yeah. that's going to stand by you and encourage you. Whether that's a friend, whether it may be, it's good to have somebody that supports yeah. you. Yeah. Hallelujah. And truly believe in God. Yeah. That knows God. Hallelujah. That's yeah. important. You need to find that if you don't have it. Kids, find somebody that loves God, that knows God. That can you can lean on. Somebody you can lean on. Hallelujah. Yeah. But anyway, so we just begin to fast and Man, my body been doing some changes. I'm telling you, my body been doing some things. I felt sick and stuff. And I said, Lord, I need you. I need you, God, to just, all these urges that I'm having now to eat this meat, I need you to take it away, Lord. And I need, I need to be focused on your goodness. And so I just began to read my word. I began to study. I began to pray. Pray. We pray together. Just begin to pray. And when I tell you, that God performed miracles. But I tell you, God opened doors. But I tell you, God performed miracles. He performed miracles. And I'm learning as I continue on this fast. And I told her, I said, well, it's not the point. I don't know when I finish. I'm, maybe I want to eat meat no more. I don't know. You know, because I just feel better. My body feels better. My body feels better. I lost 15 pounds. A lot of you might not. Some people say, I can see where I lost it. Oh, oh. In, my, in the back of my head, friends, I can hear it. I lost 15 pounds. But listen, it's worth it. But God's going to require some of you to fast. And some of you, you're not going to want it. But he's going to require discipline for you. That's all it is, discipline. you got to discipline yourself to go somewhere you've never been. That you're uncomfortable going. That's all. Just discipline yourself. Y'all can do it too, kids. Ain't no slave to me. Y'all can do it too. Y'all can go down hot wings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, do it. you just got to discipline yourself. Yeah, and I'm telling you, the most important, if you need something from God, this grace. I'm telling you, even if it's five days. And I'm telling you, the word said, the Lord said, He said, if you um, you seek Him, you shall find. And remember at the end, He said, knock, and the door shall be open. And you know, sometimes we have a request before God and we'll go to God. And we'll ask for our request. And God will grant your request if it's his will. Yeah. He'll request it. But you know, he'll grant it. But when we go to him, we pray. We feel as if God needs to answer this prayer immediately. So when we get up, off our knees are high when we pray, when we're done praying, and we walk away, we expect things to move now. We expect things to happen now. My God. We immediately want to see some results. But God said, I want to take you through that life. I want you to do the seeking thing. He wants to take you into seeking mode. I want you to seek me. Yes, you have a request before me, but now I'm not going to operate that way. I heard your request. I'm going to I'm going to grant your request, but I just want you to seek me now. I want you to seek me. I want you to go before me. I want you to meditate on my goodness. I just want you to meditate. I want you to just seek me until something happens. You know, because we pray and then we get up and we go. But now God's required us to seek him. And he's required each and every one of us to go into seeking mode. Don't stop praying. Don't give up. But just seek the Lord. And when you feel like nothing is happening, days are gone upon it. Nothing happened. Then the Lord said, then knock. Now I want you to knock. 
<laughs> he said, I want you to knock now. And he said, when you knock, the door will open. <laughs> he said, when you knock, that door is going to open. You ever heard somebody that knocked on the door? What you do when you knock on the door? You can see somebody knock one time. Most of the time, people knock one time. Three or four times. Why not three or four times? Why you can't just knock one time? Let's think about it. If I knock really one time on the door, what is that saying? But if I'm constantly I need your attention. I need something. I need this door to be open. I need you to open the door. So when you knock, and this is the definition of I would say rap. Let me tell you what the steady is going to get for me. Probably because I think I'm part of my lesson of the Lord. Direction. I just thank God for the Holy Spirit. Rap on the door. When you rap on the door, which is R A P, it just basically means to strike or to communicate. So when I'm rapping on the door, I'm basically saying, God, I need to communicate with you. God, I need to, I need your request. I need your attention. Hallelujah. I need your attention. So when you're not on the door, you tell your mama attention. Mama, I need you to open the door. Mom, somebody open this door. You know, when you're knocking. So when you go before God and you knock on that door, you're trying to get God's attention. God, I prayed before you. I laid down some foundations before you. Now I need you to move. I need you to move on my behalf. Lord, I already seek you. So now, God, I'm coming and I'm knocking. I'm coming and I'm knocking. And God said, when you knock the door, shall be open. The door shall be open. The door shall be open. But you got to knock. But first, you got to seek. You got to knock. But it's ask, seek, then you knock. So you ask of the Father. Then you seek Him. Oh, and then you knock. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you just to say this today. Say this with me. I am chosen. I am chosen. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Can y'all say that with me today? Listen, this good right there. I want you to say it with me. This is going to encourage you. Okay. Amen. Amen, Justin. Amen. Say, I am chosen. Chosen. Not forsaken. Not I am who you say I am. I am who you say I am. You are for me. You are for me. Not against me. Not against me. I am who you say I am. I am who you say I am. In my father's house. In my father's house. There's a place for me. There's a place for me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. You've been chosen today. You've been chosen. Yeah? You've been chosen. Each and every one of you. You've been chosen. You're children of God today. God said he won't forsake you. <laughs> he said he won't forsake you. He won't forsake you. Boy, that, that, that right there. He said I won't forsake you. That means he'll be with you to the end. That means he'll always be with you. Listen, he don't even doubt you. You know how some people doubt you? God said, I want to doubt you. <laughs> he said, I'm going to throw you away. I'm going to push you over. He said, I'm going to forsake you. But you can always come to me. Always. Always. Hallelujah. I need you guys to find it in your heart to help somebody. I need you to forgive and I want you to rebuild relationships. Yeah. Forgive and rebuild relationships. Can you guys do that? Can you guys do that today? Can you forgive? Can you find it in your heart to forgive? And then rebuild some relationships. Hallelujah. That don't mean you got to be buddy to buddy. 
Let's just let it just kind of keep it going. Just forgive me. So then you can forgive yourself. Forgive the hurt. All of this stuff. Yeah. 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 So if you notice, I got you guys an index card. Some of you got more than one. You put them in two. And then you got a marker. So this is what I want you to do, okay? I'm going to say, I am. And I want you to write whatever you are very positive for me. Don't let nobody see it. I don't want nobody to see it. And when you're done with writing that, I want you to just hold it up, okay? I need you to write a good and big, okay? So I can read it. But you can ask, I am, and put whatever you are, Okay? Write it real big. And if you don't have a pen, somebody just give them a card and pen. Hallelujah. And on that second card, I want you to write down whatever it is that you need God to do in your life. You just write it down. Whatever it is you ask something that it could be. It could be anything that you do as straight A students with students in this. Whatever it may be, just write it down. Okay? And I want you to fold that up. So don't you... Um, the first one when you say I am, I want you to fold that up, and when you fold that up, you just raise it up in the air. Okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, we, we have to encourage our youth people. We have to. They are the next generation in the world. We have to lift them up. We have to let them know. Listen, teenagers, they're gonna have smart mouth. They're teenagers. They're gonna go through some changes in life. They're teenagers. But listen, parents, we have to have patience. We have to have patience. But most important, you have to know God. And when you know God, you have to lean on God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lean on Him. And when you pray for these children, just believe and have faith knowing that God's going to move on your behalf. That whatever it is that you desire of Him is already is working out for your faith. Right now. Hallelujah. Whatever it may be. Hallelujah. And listen, God is touching some of you now. He's touching some of you now. Hallelujah. I pray that. Oh, hallelujah. Ooh, I pray you'll never be the same after today. Yeah. I pray you'll never be the same. Hallelujah. I pray that your talking will change. Hallelujah. Ooh, the way you think will change. Hallelujah. The things you used to desire to do. You won't have it no more. You won't want to do it no more. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. So one by one, I'm gonna just let you guys come forward and stand up here. And I want you to say loud and clear. You're gonna say, I am whatever it is you want to call. Hallelujah. Don't be fooled. Don't let the enemy tell you you're not because you are. Hallelujah. He hasn't given you the, the spirit of fear today. And we come against fear. You're more than a conqueror today. Hallelujah. You're victorious. Hallelujah. You ready? You have friends? Give them a hand on the camera. Hallelujah. 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 H
beautiful to me. God will do you. You are beautiful inside and out. Yeah. You hear me? Hallelujah. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Sugar mama. Thank you, baby. I am a hard worker. Hallelujah. You are a hard worker. Yes, you are. All of you are children of God. Amen. All of you are leaders. And good people. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for your obedience. Hallelujah. I see some of you being touched. And I'm glad that God touched you today. But listen, don't let this fool go away. When you leave, you go to school tomorrow carrying with you. Touch somebody else the same way you've been touched today. Amen. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to have Bishop and Pastor. And I'm going to have them come pray for these calls to be in the courts. And you guys can take those home with you if you want. We're going to have them pray for them, okay? Amen. I don't desire to go to the Lord, but we're going to allow them to do that thing, okay? Um, I thank you all for your obedience. I pray that there's something I said that helped you today. Although I didn't do my last thing, I, I just was obedient to what you guys said. I thank you for your obedience to But I thank you guys for your participation. I thank you. And I encourage you guys today to lean on the Lord. Okay, you're on this side. You're not on the Lord's side, but on the Lord's side. And we thank God for each and every one of you here today. We thank y'all for coming. Amen. We thank you for coming. Thank you. God bless you. What's your name, my brother? Junior. Junior. I said Junior. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. 
Y'all be encouraging. 